Hey Lego fans, it's Bricks on a Budget coming to you with another video. A little bit of an update video, uh, but uh, since I got you here, please leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that bell for future notification on future videos. You're not going to want to miss this stuff upcoming, especially if you are a Star Wars fan. So my 501st, along with my 332nd uh, armies, have been growing slowly but surely. And uh, it's becoming quite addicting, actually, um, which I'm very surprised by because, uh, yeah. But at any rate, um, so you'll notice right here, my 501st Legion got a, a tad bit bigger than it was uh, in the last video, if you've seen that one. So um, I did add a couple more jump troopers. And so all I did was I took the heavy trooper, took off the visor, and then added the 332nd jet pack to his back. Now, they don't match these helmets. I could not find these helmets to save my life on um, Clone Army Customs for whatever reason. Um, I don't know if maybe they were out of them or they just, for whatever reason, don't make anything that looks like that. But why wouldn't they? Um, you know, so if you have any information on that, let me know because it was uh, really strange to me. And you got a small legion of regs here, uh, including an officer leading them in. And then I got four heavies, and I got two snipers, and I got this generic um, Jedi 501st in the blue colors to match with the 501st. Um, she's very kind of uh, inappropriate, I guess, uh, which I think is hilarious. I might change out her face because her face bothers me a little bit. It's just a little too suspect, I guess. It's, it's messed up. And, uh, but that's the reason why I got it. I got this. This is a custom printed, um, Jedi from, uh, Brick Tactical. And I thought it was so hilarious. And so I bought it. Like, as soon as I saw it, I'm like, oh my god, I gotta buy that. So, um, what's really cool about this is she has a custom lightsaber made by Brick Tactical. That hilt, you see that? Isn't that beautiful? It's a beautiful hilt. And, um, standard Lego blade in the, um, in the lightsaber. Uh, hilt. Uh, very, very cool. So, um, at any rate, so back to the update. Other than my 501st Legion is growing slowly but surely, it is going to grow that much more here very, very soon, along with the 332nd, because I just placed my first order on two different sites, Republic Bricks and Clone Army Customs. So, I got some pretty exciting stuff coming. Um, it's going to be fun. It's going to be cool. I think it's going to be a lot of fun because, um, one, it's my first order off of both these sites. So I get to experience it with you, um, what all that's going to entail. And it's going to change my clone army, uh, armies, um, uh, very much. And I'm very, very excited. Now, I did not do any blind bags on either site. Um, Republic Brick has gotten a very negative um, vibe when it comes to their blind, blind bags and stuff. I mean, I've seen tons and tons of YouTube videos and people just, you know, opening up stuff and it's just ridiculous. And it's just like, really? It's like, wow. It's like, that sucks. And so, like, for example, one guy, he got a bunch of blind clone bags, and they literally were all 501st. And I think he spent $10 a piece on them. And it's like, right now, you can buy the 501st Specialist Pack, for example, for, like, $16 on Amazon, I believe, for four, so, and you get four mini, you know, 501st troops in there. So it's like, dude, really? Um... So I really, really felt bad with this guy because this guy spent like a hundred dollars and he got ten. All ten, all ten of them were five overs. So that really kind of left a bad taste in my mouth. And then I seen another guy open up another Republic brick thing where he got like like round white heads with the print of the helmet on the head. It wasn't even an actual helmet. It was literally the print of what the helmet should look like on the head. It looks so derpy and so bad. I'm like, why would you, why would they even do that? I mean, that's just, that's just messed up. Um, yeah, so I don't know what, the, what to expect from Republic Bricks, but what I did order, I did, I ordered very specific things that I know what they look like. I know what they are. So when I get them, 
basically I'm going to be able to compare that their custom minifigures to uh, Clone Army customs as well as Brick Tactical um, customs. And so you guys will be able to see all of that, which will be, I think that'll be a lot of fun. Um, but I'm going to do an unboxing. There are going to be two separate videos, one for Clone Army Customs and one for Republic Bricks. And then I will, I'm also thinking about doing a small order through Brick Tactical because I want to get some more weapons for my uh, clones as well as um, some different hilts for certain things, certain Jedi, um, which I don't want to go too, too far into that because I want that to be a surprise down the road. And um, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And so um, I'm also, I, I didn't do any cloth um, products through Clone Army Customs. Clone Army Customs are very good for their, um, you know, their, their uh, helmets and their prints and stuff and their clone um, stuff like that. But I guess a lot of people have been complaining that their cloth is, isn't that great. So I am going to do a small order through Cape Cantina for a few oddball um things for different officers, characters, uh, and clones to see, you know, how they are. Um, I will be getting a few items from Clone Army Customs, so I will be able to compare those to Cape Cantina to see what I think, you know, it, you know, is the difference. Now, however, in Clone Army Customs defense, they recently got a new laser cutting um, device to cut their cloth so that might make a difference now I don't know um, I can't say for sure and I don't want to say for sure when I haven't seen it for myself so we're going to look at all that together in the future videos so I think uh, I think all this is going to be a lot of fun so stay tuned like I said if you're not subscribed subscribe hit that bell for future notifications because you're not going to want to miss these videos um, and uh it's good and i got a lot more stuff planned in the future as well and uh so um i'm going to start trying to build custom built lego built weapons and stationary weapons for uh, both clones as well as stormtroopers and rebels and stuff like that so um I don't know how well that's going to work out or, you know, what it's going to look like. I have a few ideas I'm going to try out. And if they pan out good, I will be sharing those with you. So that's another thing to look forward to. I will also be trying my hand at building a clone custom base. And so that will be kind of fun to do. And so uh, that will be down the pipeline here at some point as well. I will start basically small and build it up from there more or less so um and you know when i do get my orders you're going to see some new variations of different clones that are not on this base plate just fyi because right now you have your jump troops you got your your regs you got your heavies you got your snipers you got an officer yeah so yeah it's going to be a lot of fun, guys. So, like I said, uh, leave a like, subscribe. Do not forget to hit that bell for future notifications because uh, I got a lot of plans for uh, just Lego Star Wars by itself. I have other plans for other different stuff as well as reviews and, and, and whatnot for other stuff too. Uh, but it's going to be a lot of fun, I think. And, and you know... Um, that's a couple weeks down the road, unfortunately, uh, maybe sooner, depending. I think I'll probably get my Clone Army Customs order before I get my um, Republic Bricks order in, I'm thinking. So uh, the sooner I get it, you know, the sooner I'm going to do the review and the unboxing and all that fun stuff. And uh, so, but like I said, you know, uh, hopefully, hopefully uh, by next week, uh, or, or the week after, I should at least get one, if not both. And uh, so, uh, but I'll be, I have other videos coming out very soon on different things. So uh, be on the lookout for all those videos. So like I said, leave a like, subscribe, hit that bell for future notifications because you're not going to want to miss some of this stuff. So uh, that being said, this is Bricks on a Budget Town, y'all. Get built. Thank you so much, guys.